Wow, there's no recoil on this. <laughs> I'm a dead man. You're dead. Welcome back to Wise Man Company, everybody. I'm Ben, and it's another episode of Viable or Not. These are really starting to get fun. Well, today we got another good one for you. It's the Joe Biden Special, the double barrel shotgun. And if you want to lump single barrel shotguns into this category, go right ahead. But we got to ask the question, viable or not for self-defense, home defense. There's a lot of shotgun guys out there that prefer a shotgun for their home defense. But obviously, this is really limited in capacity. And once we go to single barrel, it cuts that in half. Well, this is a Nitro Express 12 gauge. I got this for $70. It was 26 inches or 24 inches in barrel length, but I cut it down to 18 and a half, recrowned it, put a bead on it. And now it's this nice, tiny little 12 gauge shotgun. It's a lot of fun. This is the cheapest complete firearm I have ever purchased. And for me, it's just a fun gun. It's a novelty. But could someone use this in a self-defense situation? Reloading with this gun was slow. It was not easy. I fumbled, I bobbled things. What we're seeing a lot of times with home invasions now is not just one or two guys. We're seeing three, four, five individuals running into a home. Do you really just wanna be stuck with two rounds and then have to reload? It doesn't give me a great feeling only having two rounds at my disposal before I have to reload. Uh, I was able to connect with targets inside of 30 yards very easily with buckshot and slugs. Once I moved back, that diminished a little bit, but it's still possible. Not that you would need to make a 50 yard shot with a slug, but you never know, right? Throughout the duration of this video, I used the Agia mini shells. Thanks to Agia Ammunition for sending me these. They are a lot of fun to use. Uh, you can use whatever you want though for this viable or not. I've used, you know, two and three quarter inch buckshot out of this, slugs, you name it, turkey loads. The rounds coming out of this gun were moving really slow. The slugs you can actually see moving down range. I'll throw a clip of that in right now. Was definitely high. Wow, you can watch that thing in the sunlight. Pretty cool to see. You can tell there's not much energy behind them. They're advertising 1,200 feet per second behind those slugs. But uh, as you get out, obviously, you're going to see diminished returns. One thing that goes against the viable argument is the fact that Joe Biden would recommend a double barrel shotgun. Uh, yeah, he just wants you to shoot it straight up in the air, but anything Uncle Joe's gonna push my way, I kind of want to just stay away from. These guns are obviously cheap. You can find them all over the place. They're definitely reliable, provided they're in good condition. A lot of times you'll find these type of guns beat up, rusted, and they don't work as they are intended. But if they're well maintained and taken care of, they will run. There's not a lot to go wrong on them. All right, guys, so let me know down in the comments, viable or not, the double barrel shotgun or single barrel, 12 gauge, 20 gauge, whatever you want to call it, is it a viable self-defense, home defense gun? If you like this video, hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all that support. If you really want to support Wise Men Company, head over to wisemancompany.com. Ton of great products over there. Maybe pick yourself up a hat, hoodie, t-shirt, rep the, rep the brand out in the real world, you know what I'm saying? Thank you for all that support. We'll see you on the next video.